The big standoff in Ladakh between Indian and Chinese troops has shifted to the next level with information now coming that the intruding forces are being supplied by helicopters from the Chinese side. A troubling indication of how long they perhaps plan to stay. Now the face-off in the area continues with Chinese forces refusing to back off 48 hours after they intruded 5 kilometers into Indian territory. All efforts to disengage have so far failed. Headlines today has now learned that Chinese helicopters have been supplying the thousand-odd border regiment troops holding ground on the Indian side in Chamar, allowing them to occupy certain dominating heights, even though they remain at a tactical disadvantage. The government has said it plans to stand firm. India will not seek another flag meeting, placing the onus on China to plan its exit from the Chamar standoff. But when will that actually happen is the big question. In Shivarur, our deputy editor now joining us from the newsroom, uh, Shiv, what is the current situation? If you can actually sort of relay for us in Chamar. Well, the current standoff is still very much on, even though uh, many of the troops who actually intruded about 72 hours ago uh, in the Chamur area have actually pushed back a certain amount. They're still very much on India's perceived, uh, India's side of the perceived line of actual control. Uh, the fresh development that happened uh, on Friday was that about 35 to 40 uh, Chinese troops have uh, apparently taken control of a small hillock feature uh, just across the line of actual control on our, on, on our side, uh, with about 300 to 400 more troops providing support to them uh, you know just beyond the line of actual control uh, so uh, there may there may be a slight disengagement as far as uh, the full intrusion is concerned that happened uh, uh, about 72 hours ago uh, when president uh, Jinping, uh, G, uh, Xi Jinping was in the country uh, but the the engagement the face off the standoff that happened in that area is still technically very much on now Shiv, what is the government planning to do what is their next step well, the government, uh, the government is very firm. They've, uh, you know, they've sent enough reinforcements to that area in addition to the forces already existing there. Uh, you know, to, uh, you know, to give to give the Chinese troops after uh, after after many many months, uh, you know, a certain degree of pause, uh, you know, in their sort of uh, uh, sort of forward progression uh, during that intrusion, uh, which is why that particular situation, uh, you know, has been in a status quo. No reinforcements have come in from the Chinese side, even though they are being supplied by helicopters, as headlines today reported on Friday. Uh, but at this point of time the disengagement is not complete just yet and uh, the Indian army doesn't plan to ask for any more flag meetings because uh, uh, as many as two or three flag meetings have already happened uh, with no real results nothing has really happened uh, you know no sort of common ground has been achieved uh, therefore the, uh, the w what the Indian government plans to do the defense ministry plans to do is uh, get the Indian uh, forces there to hold their ground reinforcements can be sent if necessary but the onus is now on the Chinese to push back they've already pushed back two kilometers let's see if they can push back a little more and go back across the line of actual control but the important thing to note here is that the standoff is still very much on and some of those troops are still on Indian territory.